Hi, welcome back to our channel here and at the hospital. And we'd like to continue on the discussion of the PCOS series. In today's video, we'd like to answer a very important question. Whether or not PCOS is a genetic disease. Are you inheriting this PCOS or are you developing it elsewhere? Now, what we can say for sure is that PCOS is developed when you are already born. It's a congenital disease, which means you are born with it. Many patients are also suspected to inherit it from their parents, but we cannot sure uh, firely say that there is a genetic link between uh, inheriting this from your parents. We cannot say for sure. There seems to be a pattern there, but what we can say for sure is that it's definitely uh, developed in the pregnancy, during the pregnancy stage, during embryogenesis, there must be something affecting the process of the formation of the ovaries, causing these defected ovarian cells. These defected ovarian cells, what they have is this presence of these testicular tissue. These testicular tissues should have been completely removed, completely degraded during the pregnancy stage, embryogenesis. However, these small subset of Babies, they end up with remaining trace amounts of these testicular tissues. But when they are born, they don't really have any significant symptoms. All the way until 13 and 14, when puberty begins, then these cells are activated. They start secreting testosterone. So these women tend to develop masculine features, features that only a boy seems to have. Very similar, they seem to have growth in their mustache regions. They have thicker, deeper voice. They might have an Adam's apple as well, coarser skin. They tend to get fat and are unable to get lose the weight. They have aggressive moods and also higher sexual drive. And they have difficulty uh, getting pregnant or uh, sustaining a pregnancy. So usually they either have miscarriage problems or infertility. So what causes this during pregnancy? It could be something wrong with the mother themselves, the mother that's carrying the pregnancy causing the baby to have these defected ovarian cells. She could be in an environment that's affecting her health. For example, she could be drinking or smoking or she's not taking care of her nutrition or she's in an environment where there's some form of radiation or there also could be presence of certain diseases within the reproductive system during pregnancy that's affecting nutrient transfer to the baby. It could be affecting blood flow. It could be affecting the room that's allowing the pregnancy to grow. So there could be a lot of pressure there affecting the development as well. So these diseases include some form of growth, ovarian cysts, uterine fibroids, adenomyosis, endometriosis. It could be an array of diseases. But what we know for sure is that there's an external factor affecting it, causing this development defect in the ovaries. So these ovaries tend to have these trace amounts of testicular tissues. And upon puberty, these, these girls, they tend to develop all these symptoms of PCOS. So at Ante Hospital, for those who are not intending to get pregnant, they only want a better quality of life. They want their menses cycle to be regulated again, to have a regular 28 days, because these patients, they have cycles of 50 days, 60 days, and they only menstruate over five to six times a year. If you want to solve that very quickly is in a short-term solution you can go for the pills you can get them prescribed in any of your doctor they'll give you these pills which are usually contraceptive pills which can artificially simulate bleeding but it will not solve the underlying disease if you have intentions of getting pregnant then you need to go for surgery only surgery can treat this disease effectively and you don't need to depend on any further treatments after it or you don't need to be even depending on any other forms of medication after the surgery. That's how effective it is. That's why we always recommend our patients firstly decide whether or not you want to get pregnant in the future and then quickly go for treatment as soon as possible. Usually in your 20s, this is much more advised because if you go until your 30s or even during your marriage, it could become much more complicated. You might have other complications already and it can affect the marital situation as well. That's why we always want you to get treatment as soon as possible, ideally before getting married. This condition is easily treatable. We just simply use our 3D laparoscopic technique, which is a minimally invasive surgery. 
and we remove these defected cells. And these defected cells can be pinpointed using radioactive tracers and we can easily pinpoint where exactly these defected cells are and then we remove the abnormal cells and we keep the healthy ovarian cells. This way we can easily restore menses cycle after the treatment and also allow pregnancy to be achieved after treatment. So please get in touch with us via the website. Leave some comments down below if you are interested in this treatment. If you'd like to talk to us or if you'd like to arrange surgery itself, please get in touch with us as soon as you can. Stay tuned to the next one.